What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Iron Logan. Today, I'm going to do my first figure preview review of the upcoming Hot Toys Season 2, The Mandalorian and Grogu Deluxe Set. Oh man, there's been a lot of people out there talking about this right now. Also a lot of people out there making videos about it. So, as this is something I want to do for my channel moving forward, I thought I'd make this my first one, throw my hat in the ring and give you my opinion on the upcoming figure. Now, for me, I'm a massive Mandalorian fan. As you've probably already seen in the last video I just dropped, reviewing these two guys here and uh, trying my best at making an epic pose showcase for collectors to look for different poses, give them ideas um, and inspiration to have some fun with their figures. So if you haven't checked it out, be sure to go check it out. I'll put a link in the description down below. So now I'm going to get the pictures up, take a look, give you my opinion and let you know what I think. Let's get to it. Okay, taking a look at the first picture here. Looking at this, this is an epic picture. Um, it's like a movie poster and they're showing you so much of what actually comes with this new figure. You've got the chrome plating, you've got the head sculpt, you've got the spear and then you've got all the accessories that he's holding there. Such a great shot to um, advertise this upcoming figure. I reckon it looks awesome. Oh man, another great shot. Whilst that's a basic pose, that is a cool shot. You get to show off all the accessories it comes with. Uh, I think that's a display option that a lot of people might use. Just taking a look here, um, the details look amazing. The helmet, the Boba Fett helmet looks, paint apps look great. Um, I love the look of the whole getup he's got. Um, just such a great picture. Awesome. Let's go on to the next one. Showing here the difference between the two armors. You can definitely tell the difference. Um, the chrome does look really cool. And from watching the show, I feel like that is a bit more accurate um, to a real life scenario with lights bouncing off metal like that. Um, so I'm looking forward to having that, that's for sure. Um, everything else looks pretty similar. Can't really see any difference. I know that the cape is looking like it's articulated uh, on the new one. So you can see how it hangs a bit different off the shoulder there. So we'll take a look at that in another pic. Yeah, I mean, look at the difference in the color here. Um, you got the new thigh pad on the right side and just the, the look um, is completely different with the chrome to the other plate. And you can see there the cape, the cape is definitely different um, and it definitely looks articulated. It looks like there's wires in there, which I love for posing, fantastic. Um, you've also got the knee pad back on the left leg. So they brought that back, which I like, so that's good. Yeah, it looks really cool. Here's a close-up of the upper torso. You get to see a bit more detail on Boba Fett's helmet there. I mean, that looks awesome. Grogu looks cute. Um, all the accessories here. The colors, I love the colors together. The colors look great. You know, the, you got the metal with the Western vibe and other materials that he's got around him. Such a great look. Okay, now we've got the weapons out. The dark saber, the spear, he's got the jetpack on, looking badass, great pose. Uh, the dark saber looks great, the colors on that look really good. The spear, I'm looking forward to using the spear for posing and creating some cool stuff um, with him, with all the weapons that he's got. Um, in my posing video, I did a lot of posing with him, using his weapons and having a, a dark saber and a spear to add to it. Can't wait. Cool, all right, let's move on to the next one. The head sculpt. I mean, a lot of people are talking about this one. For me, it looks like Pedro Pascal. It really does. I really think it looks like him. Um, so I, I'm super pumped for this. I think it's a great look. Um, the expression is pretty much how you always see him when he takes his helmet off. Um, Ryan at Jetta Patrol pointed that out in his video, and I completely agree. Every time he takes his helmet off, um, he's not smiling or laughing or pulling funny faces. And this is kind of how he looks. And it goes perfect for the scene at the end of the show, um, which I'll definitely be wanting to reenact um, when I get the figure. And this is the scene I'm talking about. I mean, that looks awesome. You can definitely tell that's Pedro Pascal. And the look goes perfect with that scene at the end that uh, made everybody cry. So I think that's great. Great one, that one. Awesome. Now, you can see here the cape is definitely got wires in it, so you can articulate it. I think it's a smart business move by Hot Toys because they're seeing all the customizers out there making and modding um, posable capes 
now that they've uh, noticed that, they've definitely added it, and you're starting to see that on more figures now. Um, and I think you will going forward for sure. But this shot looks great um, using the spear. The chrome really does look awesome, um, to me anyway. Another great shot showcasing um, the accessories here. Looking at the legs, um, they're spread out pretty far, so I am really interested to see whether they're gonna use another body or have removed parts of the fat suit or have just removed the fat suit completely. Um, it's looking pretty poseable here, um, especially with the legs, but um, you know, I'm not really gonna know until I get it in hand, I guess, or see some other people review it. Hopefully I'll be one of the first to review it as I've pre-ordered it already uh, through Toys Wonderland. But um, yeah, that looks great. Oh damn, I mean, look at that cape, flowing. Love that. Great pose, great shot. Um, legs looking very poseable again. They're still not doing as much with the arms yet though, so yeah, I'd like to see some more arm posability. Uh, but that's a great shot. Chrome looks good, all the, all the updated accessories look great. Um, beautiful. Oh man, another great shot. Great pose. Um, using the whistling birds looks great. Cape flying looks great. The chrome um, is balling, shining. Um, I think the arms though still aren't showing that much posability. Um, so we'll see as it goes on. But nevertheless, great pose to showcase this figure. Showing the swoop bike, um, another great shot. Cape flowing, using his rifle now. Um, another great picture to showcase the figure. You got baby Grogu there, um, looking happy, which looks awesome. I'm not sure why they're showing the swoop bike for this release as it's a separate purchase, um, but I'm assuming they're showing you that so you can see what it looks like to entice you to go and buy the other one separately. Um, fair play, good business move. Um, looks awesome, definitely makes me want to get it. Not sure yet, a bit on the fence, but uh, we'll see. Here's another angle here from behind. All the accessories hanging off the back looks great. Got the cape flowing. I mean, it looks really good. Um, for me though, I just don't know if I'm gonna get it. I just don't know with the space. Um, I don't really want to relegate a Mando to just sitting on the bike in my display all the time. But man, it is cool. Um, it would be cool for photography and trying to do some different kind of action poses with him hanging off it, swinging off it. Yeah, I might be talking myself into it. That could definitely be an option. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Moving on to this picture here, we've got Mando holding Grogu. Just a bit more of a close-up um, of the accessories as well. Nothing too fancy there. Cool picture. Another thing you could do in your display with it, I guess. Yeah, but let's move on to the next one. Another shot of the accessories from behind. That looks great. Um, cool how he's got both jetpacks hanging off there. Um, got the rifle there as well. Um, yeah, that looks great. Okay, another look at the head sculpt here. Man, I think that looks money. It looks right on point for me. Uh, very happy with that. I can't wait to get it in the collection and pose it up and try and create some different type of poses using that head sculpt. Really interested to see what I can come up with in that regard. Um, and then I think eventually I'd definitely like to have it posed up on the display with the head sculpt, with him holding Grogu, um, just to really remember that scene. Being that I've got a couple of Mandos, I definitely want one of my Mandos doing that for sure. Um, really great piece, I cannot wait. Here's another picture here, uh, looks awesome. Uh, the last two pictures, um, this one and the next one, are pretty similar, just a different angle. So I kind of want to touch on where I'm at with this. For me, I can't wait to get the figure. I think the people that are upset about this release, um, I think you just need to kind of understand that Hot Toys is a business um, and they're chasing the money. I mean, this is a popular character. It's obviously bringing them in a lot of money. So obviously they're gonna chase it. They wanna make money. I get it. I get there's lots of characters. Uh, there's lots of other characters I like too, but I like to live by, if I'm not the one making the decisions, um, I'm not gonna get upset unless I put myself in the position to be the one making the decisions. Um, and I'm definitely not in the place to make decisions on hot toys and things like that. So I'm thankful for what I can get. Um, and I'm just lucky that uh, I like Mando and they like Mando. Um, because for me, uh, yeah, I'll take whatever I can get for sure. Uh, it's really cool. 
lastly, taking a look at everything he comes with. Um, he just comes with so much stuff. It's awesome. You got Boba Fett's helmet, jetpack, you got the wraps, you got the dark saber, the spear, um, all the old accessories that came with the other one. You've also got the detonator there. I think it's from season two, episode one, in the episode with Timothy Oliphant. I love that episode and I love his character. That was very cool. Love to see a figure on his character. Uh, leave a comment down below if you agree. Um, look, I'd love to know what your guys' um, thoughts are on this, but I can't wait for it. The head sculpt alone is awesome. Um, and something that I'm really uh, excited about. Uh, the chrome plating, all of it just looks fantastic. Lastly, um, don't forget about my competition I'm running right now where I'm giving away my very own Hot Toys Dark Knight DX02 Batman figure with a custom wide cape once I reach 1k subscribers on my YouTube channel. Um, to be in the draw to win, all you got to do is subscribe, leave a comment on one of my videos. Uh, as the competition is random, the more comments you leave, the more chances you'll have to win. Once I reach 1k, I'll be giving that away anywhere over the world. Um, I thank you for all your support. I hope you like my channel. Live your life, have fun, and keep posing. I'm out.